Good evening. It is uh, February the 15th at 9.17 p.m. And I, I just posted some pictures from Ruben, our friend Ruben uh, Corona. I hope I said that right, Ruben, that he took today in Texas. And these ships, they were layered in the sky in clusters. They were all in the sky just like yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me, just like yesterday. And um, I'm, we're going to take a quick a quick peek at the ships that were layered. Hello. Uh, this was from yesterday. You see how the ships were layered in the sky yesterday, right here. Okay. Well, today, today around, I think it was 845, Reuben noticed the ships in the sky also. I don't know if they were in like, great big layers like that. But they were clustered in layers in the sky, and I've, I've just posted the uh, pictures that he had taken. He took a lot of pictures. I couldn't get a lot of them to show up, but you can clearly see, look at these ships. These ships are so clustered in the sky, and they're hidden. They are hidden behind the clouds. When you look it up at that sky and you think, oh, that's just white clouds, that's just chemtrails, that's just a big old white on blue. No, no, no. Hello to everyone. These are ships. And not just one or two ships or three ships. These are massive ships layered up there in the sky. And you know what? I'm just so thankful that Reuben was able to go out there I know he's always looking up in the sky and taking pictures, but he captured these pictures. And you know, it's remarkable because they were in our skies. And hello to everybody. Hello, hello, hello. They were in my skies yesterday, and I'm sure they're still there. But you know what? Like I said yesterday, they were in the north, south, east, west. They were ringing around. They, they made a big circle around the, the sky, okay? They are everywhere. Everywhere. But uh, just look at this detail. Just look at this. This is undeniably ships up here in the sky. It's not just clouds. It is ships, and they are cloaked in the clouds. And we're just going to zoom up on some of these. Look at the unique structures. Look at them. And, you know, I don't think they're trying too hard to hide now. Okay? And as I'm looking at these pictures, hello to everyone. As I'm looking at these pictures, um, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of... The pictures from when the, the week of the observatory shutdown uh, that my cousin had caught. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go back over there. We're gonna um, I'm gonna open up another Facebook page. We're gonna look at those pitch from those pictures from the observatory shutdown week, and we're gonna compare those with these ships right here. Because when I was looking at them this evening, when I saw Ruben's pictures, you know, and he messaged me and he told me Gina took these pictures. I, I was already looking at the pictures that he took. But as uh, he sent me some more, I was looking at them and I thought, now wait a minute. These look like the ships that happened to be in the sky that week of the observatory shutdown. And I I'm trying to get over here to these ships. Okay, I've got over to these ships. This, were, this is like the ships. This is the week of the observatory shutdown that my cousin had took well, outside on his way to work. See, they were clustered in the sky just like they are now. See, this is what the sky looked like when my uh, cousin had taken the pictures. All right, now here we are. Fast forward today. These are the pictures that Reuben took. He took these today. You know, we have the same scenario. It's coming. It, it, it seems like we're having the same scenario that we had back, that, back then when there were so many ships in the sky. And um, that's just like went into my head. Oh, this was the same type of thing that was going on back then. Hello, Ben Sullivan. I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> I am. I am a little bit excited because that it just dawned on me. Okay, this this looks just like that, and this is what Reuben has caught. He's caught these ships in the sky, and we're gonna be we're gonna bring Reuben on here if he's on here. As soon as we get through uh, looking at some of these pictures, we're going to bring Reuben on here. And he's going to tell you what he saw and what he felt and what made him want to uh, look at those pictures, take those pictures. Because, you know, I think, you know, there's something within each of us um, 
when we're outside or even when we're not, you know, if you're in tune, something inside of you will tell you, hey, you need to go outside. You need to look up because there's something up there in the sky. Hello. Hello to everyone. <laughs> good, good evening to everyone. Good evening. And um, I am just so happy that so many people are out there taking pictures and that we can share, you know, from all over. Just look at this. Just look at this. There were so many pictures. I think Reuben said he took around 84 pictures or something. I said, Reuben, I can't do all those 84. I said, because just think, just one photo. This is one photo. Just look at all the pictures in one photo. And just look, they are literally clustered together in layers in the sky. Hello, George uh, Soto Valentino. Uh, yes, they are literally clustered in layers in the sky. And... um. It's just like yesterday here for when I uh, took those pictures too. And then, you know, for him to see them in Dallas, Texas, that's where Ruben's at in Dallas, Texas. Look at these. You know, if you're just looking at these and you don't zoom up, you're not going to see these ships. You're not going to see them at all. But they are literally all up there in the clouds. A good evening, Siobhan Hill. They are all in the clouds. Oops. I forgot to look down here at the bottom. They are, they are I got to flip this phone down here. I got to flip it around. Uh, yeah, they are even down here. You see there was like a gap right here. They are down here layered in the clouds down here too. And um, I wonder why they're covered up so in the middle, but not down here and not above. But these ships were also down there. They were just, they were, um, they were all over the place. Uh, somebody wants to see a UFO. Okay, these are UFOs in the clouds, okay? They are all in the clouds, okay? These are UFOs in the clouds, okay? Right here, big long UFO ships in the clouds. They're all in the clouds, okay? We're going to fast forward back to those pictures, okay? Now, I don't know if you all had a chance to look at them, but look at these ships down here, too. They are just all over the place. And this is just one picture, and this is like a, like a screenshot from that one picture in order to get better views of these. You know, it's like they're doing something. Why are they here at this time? You're in central Illinois and our military verse, and you hear large helicopters. Hi. That's because something's going on. Something is going on. Um, hello, Polly Temple with those uh, beautiful hearts flipping up the screen. They're just flying up the screen. Yeah. And if you know how to work these photos, you know, bring out these uh, objects more, anybody can go outside and take pictures, okay? And you can share them because we're, we all have cell phones nowadays. And these cell phones, you know, they're pretty good and they can pick up a lot of stuff. Just look at this. Okay, look at this right here. Where is that cursor? Yeah, look at these ships in here hiding. All inside of here. They're all in here. Thousands of them, and just think they are all over the sky. They don't have to just stay in one section because there's so many ships. So many ships all in the sky. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. When I, when I saw his photos, I thought, oh my. And see, when you're just looking at the sky, you may just see this, but no, there is more to these skies than what meets the eye. Much, much more. They are down here layered in the sky under the, inside the clouds. Yes, help is here. Uh, we need help. We really do need help. Just look at these. They are layered. They are, they're just hanging out. They are literally hanging out. Yes, Roberto, Ruben, that's so, it's so nice of you. Um, I'm trying to flip this around. It is so nice of Ruben. We're going to have Ruben come on here um, is what we're going to do. And But Ruben's going to have to comment because I can't find him on here to bring him on here. Ruben, there you are. You're on the third floor. Ruben, what are you doing on the third floor? 
I don't know what you mean on the third floor. The third floor of Facebook. Does Facebook have a third floor? We're going to bring Ruben on. Um, we're going to see if Ruben can come on. What happened? Ruben, come on here. That's see me, Jenny? Ruben, Hello. we see you, and thank you for coming on here. Ruben, what happened? You disappeared. <laughs> Ruben disappeared. We're going to have to try to bring him on again. I think he might have... Uh, he might have um, knocked himself off on here. We're going to try him on here again. I hope they did not knock him off of here. Somebody hacking and knocked off Ruben. Okay, it looks like we're going to get Ruben on here because I know he must have been really excited um, seeing these uh, ships in the sky, these UFOs all in the sky. And I'm sure he knew exactly what they were. We're going to flip the screen. I can't. Okay, Ruben. We can you know I'm back. We can see you, Ruben. Why did you, you just went outside and you took a picture? You saw them in the sky? No, I do this. No, I do this uh, almost every day. I go and look. Uh, today I decide to go outside and I saw many, well, it looked weird anyway. Yeah. It wasn't normal. So I no. decide to go to the third floor and I'm taking the floor and it, it's, I'm I'm far away because I'm using the 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 eight by ten scope. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'm I'm about I would say I'm about maybe a mile away. A mile away from these ships in the sky. Yeah, looking south. They they were in the south sky when I saw them yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I don't know if they're the same ones, but. Uh, it's unbelievable. I, it is, Ruben. I just, I just can't understand what's going on. And I know is. I saw everything. And Ruben, it really is. They were layered in the sky the week of the observatory shutdown. They were layered in the sky like this. Yes, they did. And so... Uh, I guess they don't want to let us know what's going on. And so there's nothing okay. we can do. I know, but we've got pictures. We got a heads up of what's happening. I know, but uh, they just don't want to let us know. Yeah. I guess we're not ready, I guess. I don't know, Ruben, but yeah, I am so thankful that you caught these pictures. It just, Me too. It adds validity to, you know, the pictures that I catch, the pictures that everyone else catches, because you're somewhere else in the United States. I know it, it's it's unbelievable. I I still can't understand what's going on, and I'm surprised still. Uh, I was shaking after I finished taking all the pictures. I I when I started looking, I said, "Oh my God, what is this?" Because you knew, Ruben. Yeah. Because that did not look like a normal. It looked sky. out of this world. It was like an armada. <laughs> no. Many of them. Right there. And you know, some of these ships do look like when we were catching all the little ships together in the photos a month or so back, they do take on these shapes. That's what they look like. But now they're here and they're massive. These ships are absolutely massive in the skies. Big, long yeah, ships. Yeah. It's, unbelievable. it's unbelievable. And, um, I, I don't know, you know, what a race they're from, what a species of extraterrestrials, what all, I think they said Palladians are here, the Galactics are here. Um, I don't know, but uh, there's something, there's something going, going on. on. Uh, yes. Um, and it's crazy. How long? Yeah, it lasted for a couple of hours, I would say about four hours and a half. Uh, the the sky started clearing up and uh, there was no more clouds and nothing else but there's always something going on not when it's raining but yeah. as long as it's not raining there's something going on i don't know i've been capturing many stuff that it's that you know i show it to the people and people said oh no no it's not you know so they, they, there's no no sense on arguing and fighting over stuff that you know that you saw and it's real. You know? That's right, Ruben. Yeah, these are definitely mm -hmm. ships that you've captured. I know, and it's weird because I got 
many pictures and it's just like wow i just can't believe it yeah let's just tell the people that uh, hey everybody needs to get ready just in case yeah because we don't know what's going to happen but we better no be we don't know <laughs> I don't know what their intentions are. Are they going to give us a hand, help us? Uh, we don't know. And I don't know. I wish they would help us. That's what I'm expecting. Now, do you feel scared when you see these uh, ships in the sky, Ruben? Yes, after I stopped taking pictures and I look at the first picture that I gave you. That's yeah. the one you're showing, I think. And I saw what I had and I started shaking. It, it it is it's uh, it's it's shocking. It's absolutely it, shocking. It is. It is because you don't expect to see something like that. It's and unbelievable. It's just out of this world. Yeah, uh, Ruben, can you say hello to all of our friends watching? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. I, I'm still shocked, but I, I just want to let you know that uh, I'm keeping an eye on the sky like I always do, and. Uh, just, hey, hi from Texas. Go Cowboys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, could you yeah. explain Could you explain this? Uh, uh, within around a minute to some of the Spanish, can you speak Spanish? Yes. Can you explain this to our Spanish-speaking friends? Okay. Este, estas, estas fotos las tomé yo ahora en la mañana y eran como las 8.45 de la mañana. Y yo, yo, yo siempre estoy viendo y ya, ya he visto cosas, me pasó una cosa y desde ese día empecé a ver todos los días cosas y siempre estoy viendo qué está pasando. Y ahora en la mañana vi que estaba medio raro el cielo y decidí salir y agarré estas películas, estas, uh, estas fotografías, retratos, como les quieran decir, y alcancé a tomar como 84 retratos Tengo dos videos, pero los videos los, los hago como de 30 segundos porque tardas mucho en subirlos a la red y, y todo eso. Pero yo he estado viendo muchas cosas y espero que esto nos vaya a traer algún provecho porque de veras lo necesitamos y sería muy bueno si, si esto sería un provecho para nosotros que lo necesitamos. Y a ver, maybe, uh, y a ver si podemos de, de que nos, que vivamos otros 300 años más ya cuando lleguen estos, a ver qué es lo que sucede, que nos den una mano y que dicen que se va a quitar la corrupción, pues vamos a ver, a ver qué es lo que sucede. Somebody's knocking in my front door. Oh no, Ruben, it's the FBI. <laughs> It's the aliens. No. <laughs> it, was, it was my nephew. Okay. Could you could you finish telling our your uh, our friends in Spanish? Este, y como les estaba diciendo todos, yo vi lo que estaba retratando, pero hasta me asusté hasta que vi que lo que tenía, que lo que había agarrado. Sí, me temblaron las piernas, me dio pues, miedo de que, pues, ¿qué es esto? Como, como lo sigo y lo vuelvo a decir, espero que nos vengan, que nos den una ayuda. Es todo. ¿Qué más podemos hacer? Esperar a ver qué es lo que va a suceder. Y a ver qué sucede. I'm done, Gina. Okay, you're done. Uh, Ruben, thank you so much because I can't You're speak welcome. Spanish. <laughs> You're welcome. We're here to help them and let them know what's going on. Everybody yes. must get ready. I don't know, yes. I guess. Good water. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, and they better get ready spiritually in their mind, Ruben, because what we're, what we're seeing, if these ships completely uncloak, we're going to be totally... And I... And the bad part, we don't know their intentions. We don't know their yeah. intentions. So well, we need to I be ready. That's right. Uh, some people may, and the, some people may flat out not like them right away, you know. Yes, we need to be open-minded and think about, you know, it. 
we can be the only ones in this universe. Just think yeah. about it. That's right. Yeah, just think about it. It's too big. To just joining. And, uh, and these are pictures that gonna go down. Uh, Ruben took in Dallas, Texas. Uh, I'm just explaining that uh, you took these pictures this morning in Dallas, Texas, for those who are just coming on, and the ships are literally layered in the sky in clusters. And, um, yeah, Lori, they've always been uh, watching us, but now we're seeing them. Uh, yeah, Michael Dorfland, there is a state of emergency, and we need because I don't something know good for do. something very well to go down. I don't yeah, know. This is, this is crazy. Yeah. I have never seen something like this, uh, you know. I've been seeing your pictures, you know, and I've been showing you a couple of things that I have captured, but this is uh, unbelievable. It is, Ruben. Everybody needs to see this. Well, they need to see this. Yeah, we're trying to get the news out. And, yep. this, and this goes right along with, everybody, you know, uh, Everybody yeah. needs to get ready. That's all I can tell you guys. Uh, hey, if you want to, go ahead. If you don't, there's nothing we can do. Just be ready. Because we don't know what's going to come down or what's going to happen. So we need to be ready. Mm. Yeah, can you tell, can you tell our Spanish-speaking friends they, they need to be ready because um, our world could change? <laughs> okay. Uh, también les quería decir que todos necesitamos estar preparados, este porque no sabemos qué es lo que va a suceder. Uh, puede, pueden venir a ayudarnos o pueden venir a atacarnos, así que hay que estar preparados en caso de cualquier cosa que vaya a suceder. A, agarren agua, algo de comida, que botes de algo que no se vayan a echar a perder para, para estar preparados. Com compren su agüita, unas botellitas, unas 40 y póngalas en, ahí, escóndanlas y Vaya su camping equipment supplies porque no sé qué es lo que va a pasar. La verdad no entiendo lo que está sucediendo porque esto está, está medio no, es, es algo que no puedes creer. Está demasiado este extravagante, podría decir. Bueno, a ver cómo nos va. Let's get ready. <laughs> yes, we need to get ready, Ruben. Yeah, Thank we you. need to get ready because we don't know what's going to calm down. And you know what? It's not the first time I see this. Uh, I've seen this before, but I never decided oh, I should be taking pictures. And it was during the night, and I could see uh, the spaceship, and they were like, like in an Indian file. You know, they were one after the other one, just following. And it looked, uh, I don't know, it looked kind of weird. I, but I, I didn't decide to take no pictures that night. Yeah. But it was uh, it was raining. Yeah, they do a lot of activity behind the scenes when it is raining out. Yes, uh, and uh, with everything we have now, um, all those pictures that I have, you know, you're going to have a lot of work, I guess. <laughs> Ruben. <laughs> if you if you want to show them to everybody. I know we've got so many people submitting photos and it's hard for me to go through all of them with uh, my full time job. <laughs> right. Uh well well maybe now they're they we're live, you know, and uh why don't you let them know that make sure you send send something that is worth worth it, you know. Because yeah. you know, there's no sense like that guy that I just saw somebody posted a little plane and it goes over my little town and it's a plane. Come on. At this time, we don't have time for nonsense. We need to get ready. We need to yeah. be on the lookout, uh, see what's going on around you. Uh, I don't know because we don't know. And as, as far as I know, you know, I keep telling you guys that there was a war going on and this and that. And yeah, some people listen. Some people, they just, oh, okay. Yeah, he's crazy. Like my sister tells me I'm crazy. So anyway, I know I'm crazy. But anyway, uh, you know, we need to listen and to, to see what's going on and, 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 and be prepared for anything because we don't know what's going to go. 
Or what's going to happen? Uh, I, while I was telling you about the, they were fighting in space and all that, I was thinking that one of them times, something can come through the atmosphere and land on top of us. So, they could. They very well could. Know. I don't know. You just need to be. But yeah, this is really something else. All those pictures that I took, it, they're amazing. And there's yes, still a couple of people telling me that they don't see the UFO. They tell me there's nothing there. Well, here they are, right here. Oh, one guy even tell, told me uh, your stuff might be excellent. Why don't you send me some? Okay. <laughs> so I don't know. But th th this is something else. It's just outrageous. That's right, Ruben. I don't know what to say anymore. Just... Yes. Well, thank you for coming on. Thank you for coming on here with us. Anytime, Ruben. You know. appreciate it. Just let me know, and I'll be here helping you. Yes. And like I said, get ready, get ready, because we don't know what's going to go down. So it was nice talking to you guys. A todos. Ahí estamos y a ver qué pase, como decía el Señor de los Cielos, arre. <laughs> bueno, hasta luego. Thank you, Ruben. You're welcome. Wow, that was exciting with Ruben. Um, I'm glad that he was able to um, speak to um, our Spanish-speaking friends, because um, I can't. Yeah, that was very nice of Ruben. Uh, you've seen them in that palm wool and you've seen the things in that Hoosier National Forest. You've seen many light orbs and cloud formations. Yeah, there is a lot of strange things going on. There really is. And that was the first thing that entered my mind when I saw those pictures that Ruben sent. You know, I thought, now wait. I, I keep wanting to push the button for when uh, that observatory shutdown happened. They were all in the clouds, just clustered in the clouds during that time. But yet the sky was a fiery red. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, right when I started um, doing that, doing these pictures. Yeah. And I'll continue to uh, share pictures when I see them. Um, I thought somebody was coming through this store. I'll continue um, sharing pictures and try to bring people on so we can uh, talk to other people also. Abigail Zaplan, no habla espanol. <laughs> I can't read her. I can't read, read what she said. Yes, <laughs> Paul Mullen, I, when I hear those coyotes out there, I heard them last night. They were really loud, and they were near the house because I'm right there by the woods, and I thought, I'm not going outside, and our cat just it runs to the other side of the room, and I thought, oh, I hope all my windows are locked. Yeah, it gets scary <laughs> when I hear those coyotes because they get really, really loud and it just echoes through the woods. Oh, you're you're very welcome, Ali uh, uh, Smith. Oh, you're still here, Ruben. I forgot. <laughs> uh, oh, that's okay, Abigail. That's fine. That's wonderful. It really is. Um, I know there's a lot of changes going on right now in the skies and in not just the country we live in, but in the countries that you all live in, too. There's a lot going on. There really is. David, you have a whole ton of UFOs in the cloud photos.
Yeah, we, we've got lots of uh, confirmation. Oh, you just got here. I learn at Mer Mark Hefka. I can't say your name. <laughs> yeah. And we was just showing for me when I <laughs> showing these photos that uh, Ruben captured in Dallas, Texas today. You can see the ships clearly in the clouds. Um, all it took was a slight uh, adjustment of the colors and it just brought these right out. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel harm looking at them, but you know when I saw all of them in the sky um, yesterday, that is a, a sight to behold. It was, I was totally a uh, shock and in awe at that sight in the sky because like I'm, I'm driving down the two lane, well actually it's a four lane expressway on this road of life <laughs> and there in front of me is this big old uh, layers of UFOs in the sky on this big road of life right there in front of me. That was a that was a picture moment and had I not left work at four o'clock to go pick up a, a stove I would have not I've been coming through there at that time on my way back to catch that photo to see the sky like that so um it, it was a uh, it was all planned out beforehand I believe yeah <laughs> You had dreams of these 50 years ago. Uh, Paul Mullen, um, <laughs> uh, compared to whatever is in the stove for the new shed. It makes us very puny. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I just felt teeny tiny staring at those pictures yesterday. The sky. Bonjour, Mario. Nick Vajaz, love you. We we love you too. Yeah. Well, I'm about out of things to say. You can tell because <laughs> we have a snowstorm coming, Paul. Paul Mullen, I didn't know we had a snowstorm coming. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Jacqueline War Ward, um, while I was driving, I'm sure no one didn't. Um, they were just on their way, I guess, home from work or to work. Louisville, Lexington, and Clarksville. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, I would... Uh, I would encourage everybody to get some uh, water on. It's, it's nice to have a few supplies on hand, like some uh, bottled water, um, a little bit of medicine, a tad bit of cash, a, a little bit of extra canned food, maybe some matches and candles or a lighter. And um, I know everybody's got some warm blankets and stuff. You know, should it get really cold and the electricity go out or the lights go out, <laughs> two to five inches of snow. <laughs> oh... Yeah. Coyote cookies. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I don't like them, you know, and when we, whenever I'd watch, um, like, uh, nature shows, and they would have um, animals on, I like to watch the animals, I never did like watching those hyenas. That is one animal I don't enjoy watching. They scare me, the hyenas. They're, they're creepy looking, and I know it not, may not be nice, but I don't like to watch hyenas on nature shows. <laughs> Hello, Jody. Oops, there went the comments. You're hot there, Allie Smith. Where where are you at? Oh, Nikwa Jaz. Uh, okay. Mm hmm. I don't. I don't think Judgment Day is here right now, Michael. It may be for some though. Today may be their judgment day. Uh, yes, uh, get prepared. It's not a game. This really, no, this is not a game what we're facing at all. These uh, UFOs are not just up in the sky, just uh, sitting there as time goes by. Uh, they're sitting there waiting. They are sitting there waiting in the sky for something. And we're going to find out one day. Uh, yes, Paul, it was really, it is a, a fascinating coincidence because it was, uh, it was weird. It really was. <laughs> uh, good morning, uh, Marika Marata. Jody, I didn't take any pictures today either. Rosa Rosa da uh, yeah you can send uh, pictures through the messenger I, I can't tell you when I would get to them because I've got a lot of messages that I haven't gotten to Yeah. I was looking at these comments. Oops. I am going to go because it's uh it's getting late. It's like a 9.55, I'm going to sit in front of the fire. Um, okay, Sharon uh, Kroger. Well, thank you all for tuning in, and thank you, uh, Ruben, for coming on. Oh, wow, Paul. I thought about doing that, too, like using a mirror or a shiny object. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, good evening um, to everyone. I'm trying to get these glasses. To, my eyebrows are going like that. I'm trying to get these glasses to move on my nose, but they weren't moving. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope everyone has a good evening. I'm going to try to get back around to this page right here. Well, I'm trying to flip it over. And we're going to end this video right here. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, Paul. Uh, yes, goodwill toward men.